Welcome to our deeper dive on dietary protein for our clients. We're specifically going to look at examples of a higher protein approach for fat loss, muscle building. We're going to look at some studies and we're also going to dive into what happens when our clients are not consuming enough protein and ultimately what is considered enough protein. So some of the other things that we're gonna get into in this course are the structure and digestion of proteins and amino acids, requirements for protein synthesis or building muscle, sources of protein in food, protein classifications, protein deficiency, so risk with vegan or vegetarian diets, protein excess, is there a toxicity effect there, estimating protein requirements, protein, fat loss, and hunger, and handling clients who struggle with consuming enough protein. The protein structure or proteins are made of 20 common different amino acids. Nine are considered essential, leaving 11 non-essential or conditionally essential, as we like to say. Each amino acid has an amino group, an acid group, a hydrogen atom, and a side group. So you can see it's a side group here in the red box that kind of gives each amino acid its unique structure. The sequence of amino acids in each protein determines its shape and function, and hence the role that it plays in the body. 